Hi guys, this is Pierre. Okay, so uh, we'll explain a little bit how this uh, crazy iPlay 24 hours worldwide universe will work. So you can understand a little bit what was the idea, idea behind this. Uh, the idea, the main crazy idea was, okay, we are confined, we're all stuck all around the world. It might be a great solution, a great idea that we make, we run this as a big community event inviting a lot of more people and try to getting closer to the Play 14 experiment uh, on a virtual basis. So the, the, the sorry, I record a little few things that we can use in, in our advertisement, it will start at Sydney, then you have Singapore jumping in, then you have Heidelberg Europe, then Toronto, then Mexico, then Los Angeles, and it's ending at Los Angeles, 5 p.m. This is close to 24 hours, and this is called a big one. So you will have, you will have the possibility to have a full day of games and having, so it's about, let's play the world, play with the world, and making no difference. So you can jump in, jump in, jump out when, whenever you want. You can reach uh, uh, people from Asia or people from Europe or people from America to understand how they play, what kind of games they're doing. I do believe this will be absolutely awesome. From an organization perspective, this is how it works. Cine is starting 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, then uh, they create a main Zoom. This main Zoom will handle the whole day as let's say, the, the, the spine the spine of this event. So this event, so this main room will start open at 9 a.m. in Sydney time, will end at 5 p.m. Los Angeles time. Then you have Singapore boarding. Uh, they will have a Zoom link first to make a welcome at, for their own community before joining the main group. Same for Europe. They have their own Zoom room, welcome, blah, blah, joining the main room. Same thing for Toronto, same thing for Mexico, and again, same thing for Los Angeles. So that we, have, we have here Zoom 1, Zoom 2, until Zoom 4. It's just to say these are different accounts, Zoom accounts or Zoom links than the main one. This allows you to maybe to create, to explain, uh, to explain to your communities before joining the main rooms, not disturbing the gamers or maybe you will reach the, the games, you don't know what is happening. This allows you to explain the rules, the games, or to come with the, to prepare yourself to join the main room. Is I invite you to speak here, and in one hour we are joining the big game. That's the idea behind this. And this, and then, ba -ba, marvelous. Uh, from a high level, from an organization perspective, you have this point. So I use, we have a, a great conversation how we organize this, calling time zone. It will be quite a little bit confusing, have all time zones appearing and the and the, the starting end of the day. That what became, and Manolo came with a great recommendation here, that just using numbers. So we'll have track like in, in, in here, in that slide below, you can see Trello for one to 26. These are most likely all the slots we have, uh, the time slots we have for the whole day, maybe not the 25 and 26, but at least let's keep it like this just today. Um, it means that Sydney is starting from 9 a.m. Sydney time, ending 5 p.m. Sydney time. It is for 1 to 0.9. Uh, same for uh, Singapore, for 3 to 14, then for Heidelberg or Europe, etc., etc. And here we can really see, okay, where are the junction points possible? So if uh, Singapore is starting on point three, they will have maybe they welcome doing one hour icebreaker, et cetera, explaining the rules, explaining pre-14 rules, and joining at point four. Uh, it means that point four will be a marketplace. Then we have to decide and if, and if Cindy say, sorry, noon for us is point four, our marketplace will stand at point five, then we say, okay, guys, then the junction, the main marketplace will be 0.5, even though uh, Singapore can join point, with the, through the 0.4, and, and so on for all things. So point of attention is when we know that if uh, Europe is joining on whatever point, so like uh, Europe 0.10 or 11, we have a risk on 0.11 that maybe we'll lose a lot of people from Asia Pacific. That's a little bit... Not, not not terrible. So maybe I will recommend that the guys we, we are joining at point ten. So we'll at least having one hour the possibility to 
to have fun with our colleagues from Asia. Same issue here, or maybe the risk at, with Toronto. We have just a possibility of one or two time slots to get access to main room, et cetera, et cetera. So that's not a big, a big deal because anyway, you can join whenever you want. <laughs> you can, somebody from Los Angeles can join uh, on the, at the beginning of Sydney, et cetera, et cetera. You can join whatever you want. That's in the main room, like just before, hold on. So like just before you have the possibility, the main room is completely open. Okay, but we have here just here the possibilities to uh, build the communities. Purpose of this big play 14, the play for 24 hours, one is a crazy experiment. Point number two is making a big thing as a global community. And then maybe you as local communities, you will have get here the possibilities to gain traction to, to increase your memberships. And that's cool, I do believe. The tools we decide to use, or maybe I decided that we are using was mostly video, uh, video session through Zoom. That's quite easy. We just need to check this week about, about how much accounts do we need. Do we need one with several URLs or do we need to have several uh, Zoom accounts? This will be decided in two days. We are taking the decision that we're using Trello as the main, uh, let's say, main marketplace board for the whole day. Uh, on Miro, it, on my road, this can be confusing. Uh, I don't trust uh, the level infrastructure of Miro, meaning if you have 200 of more than 200 people on the Miro board making uh, a marketplace, this will be awful. This will be crazy, and you will maybe don't. Uh, uh, and the design of the my robots they will be destroyed. That's we have a huge risk. Trello is quite simple, and maybe we have to we can define how we can use Trello afterwards. Same for Myro. Myro is more the sandbox. This is where we can find uh, a lot of games. Uh, the guys from Germany and all uh, maybe all, some of you also have already created games on on Myro. And we have a lot of templates available. This will be also like the shelves that we can, where you can find some games to play with in case you're a little running dry. Great idea came from Andy about the usage of uh, Slack. Slack, this will be more uh, a helpline, a help desk. Uh, we will uh, create a link for all the communities, all the players. If, you, if they have a question, they're stuck, so they can ask through Slack uh, some question that we can solve for them. That's it for today. I hope it helps. If you need some help, some support, uh, don't hesitate, call me. I will be, I'm keen to help. Cheers, thank you so much, and see you later. Bye-bye.